I'm attorney Lewis Haskell, and today I would like to clarify some of the confusion over the difference between the probate estate and the taxable estate, because those are completely different and unrelated concepts, and also the difference between Massachusetts gift and estate taxation and federal gift and estate taxation. Most people do not have federal gift and estate taxations, state taxation issues because the exemption, the federal exemption is so large. Uh, Massachusetts doesn't have that exemption and gift tax is just something completely different. Actually, it's non-existent, but it affects the state tax in a completely different way. And, and as a result, I think that there's a lot of confusion there because people think they don't have a problem when actually they do. First of all, as I said, let me talk about probate estate versus taxable estate. The probate estate is basically the property of a, of, of a dead person, of a decedent we call them, but a dead person, that, uh, bec that does not pass automatically uh, to people and thus has to be probated. It has to go through the procedures of the probate court. In a properly designed estate, very little should need to be probated for most people. In other words, a 401k should have a beneficiary, a, a brokerage account, a, um, a um, bank account should, should already have a designated beneficiary. Um, Houses sometimes, well, certainly if they're owned by husband and wife, um, the survivor will just get it. it. It doesn't need to go through probate. Life insurance um, should never go through probate, although um, it is possible and there could be circumstances in which it would be desirable uh, that life insurance be paid uh, to the probate estate. So all of these things avoid probate. None of those things and, and, um, avoid estate tax because the probate estate and the taxable estate are different estates. So that is an important distinction. It becomes a very important distinction when you get to Massachusetts estate taxation. Right now, the federal estate um, exemption is a little bit over $11.5 million. So if you're in a position where federal estate tax is going to be a problem, uh, you really do need to be sitting down with somebody and, and organizing your estate in a coherent way uh, so as to avoid that estate tax. In Massachusetts, the estate tax exemption is only a million dollars, and the and that million dollars is calculated in a very different way uh, than it is on the federal side. So let me say that's a million dollars, and that million dollars includes life insurance, includes your house. So it's not very hard to get over a million dollars uh, anyway. A, a lot of folks are, are gonna be are gonna be in a situation in which they're paying Massachusetts estate tax. The other bit of confusion there, though is that the federal gift tax exemption is that same a million and a half, 11 million and a half or so. With Massachusetts, we don't have a gift tax and therefore we don't have a gift tax exemption. But anything that you gift that would be reportable on a federal gift tax return, whether it is taxed or not, would be would count towards that million dollars. So let me that's a little confusing, so let me try to explain. For federal gift tax purposes, you can give away fifteen thousand dollars per person per year. So there's no limit on how much you can give away per year. If you have two hundred friends who you want to give fifteen thousand dollars to, then you can give away a lot of money uh, each year. Uh, obviously that's not how it works, but you can give, you know, 15000 to each of your children, 15000 to each of your grandchildren, $15,000 to each of your children's husbands or wives every year, and 
none of that is reportable to the federal government for, for gift tax purposes. Once you go above that 15000 however, you do have to file a federal gift tax return, and all of that counts against that $11.5 million uh, exemption. It, the 11, it, it's an 11, it starts, while you're alive, it starts as $11.5 million gift tax exemption, but you're also burning up that $11.5 million estate tax exemption at the same time. It's, it's the same exemption. So you can give away $11.5 million or you can, in, in your lifetime, or you can leave uh, that $11.5 million to your heirs tax-free, uh, but you can't do both. However, in Massachusetts, if you give away $11.5 million, or frankly, if you give away $1 million, you will never pay tax on it. But you now have, you now have to file a state tax return and, and that becomes an issue. Okay, because you will be paying a state tax in Massachusetts. Because that million dollars is not an exemption it just determines whether or not you need to file a return. So if you do need to file a return, the tax goes back to the first dollar. And that could be dramatic. In fact, I think the best way to, to explain that is this. If you die in Massachusetts and you have an estate of one million dollars exactly, you pay no estate tax. If you die in Massachusetts and your estate is one million and one dollars, you pay a thirty-three thousand dollars estate tax because they're taxing dollar one. Now the good news is that the money that you give away is not part of your estate. So, if for example you have a $10 million estate and you give away $9.5 million the day before you die. You will have to pay estate tax in Massachusetts, but only on the $500,000 that's still in your estate. You have avoided, under no, in both scenarios, assuming you haven't given away any other gifts, you would not pay federal gift or estate tax although you would have to file a gift tax return. So you can see that these are very different concepts. It's very confusing to a lot of people. And, it, and, and here in Massachusetts, we have to do a lot of planning that most people, that people say in Florida or New Hampshire or, or other places do not need to do because they have the $11.5 million exemption for now and even in 2026, in 2026, when when the Tax Cuts and Jobs Act, the so-called Trump tax cuts, uh, expire, it should still be about six million dollars, and that still takes care of, of a whole lot of people. But in Massachusetts, not. So, if you have any questions, if you need any help with this, if you need some help planning, you know, I am here. I'm Attorney Lewis Haskell. My office is at 16 Pine Street in Lowell. Uh, please feel free to give me a call. My number is 978-459-8359, or you can email me at cases at attorneyhaskell.com.